Passage 4. Listen to part of a lecture in a biology class. Coral. Humans are destroying the foundation of marine life by their carelessness, their pollution, sewage, and through erosion. What is the foundation of marine life I am talking about? It is the living coral reef found in warm, clear, and shallow tropical waters throughout the world. Some coral is classified as hard coral and some as soft coral. An example of hard coral is brain coral. The tiny animals living in colonies form coral reefs and are referred to as polyps. Polyps are usually carnivorous and feed on small particles which float on the water. The colonies they form can consist of thousands of polyps, and when the polyps die, they leave behind a very hard substance made of calcium carbonate. The substance is somewhat like limestone, so you know how hard it is. There is also soft coral. Soft coral does not build reefs. Sea fingers are examples of soft coral. Now let's take a look at the reefs these little animals build. Coral reefs are located all over the world. The largest reef in the world is the Great Barrier Reef, which is located off the northeast coast of Australia. The reef is the largest marine protected area in the world and is about 2,300 kilometers long and has a very complex ecosystem. Of course, fish live in and around coral reefs, but so does other marine life. For example, the Great Barrier Reef is in a protected area called the Great Barrier Reef World Heritage Area, and the entire ecosystem within this area is protected. There are several types of reefs. Reefs that grow on the ocean's continental shelf in shallow water are called fringe reefs. Barrier reefs are those that grow parallel to shorelines, but if they are far out into the waters, they are usually separated from shore by a deep lagoon. The word barrier means barricade or obstacle, and that is exactly what a barrier reef does. It blocks navigation and forms an obstacle which ships can't get around. Okay, I have mentioned fringe reefs and barrier reefs. Another kind of reef is the coral atoll. These reefs are interesting because they grow on top of old volcanoes which have sunk into the ocean. Usually, they start off as fringe reefs around a volcanic island. But then, as the volcano shrinks, the coral reef continues to grow and cover the volcano. Reefs have many functions. They feed and shelter fish, and they protect shorelines from erosion. Reefs also are land builders. They can form islands, and they can also change shorelines as well as protect them. Environmental conditions can adversely affect coral reefs. They are susceptible to disease, and they can be bleached. Bleaching occurs when the sea temperature is elevated. Sometimes bleaching is also caused by low salt content and pollution. If these harmful conditions continue long enough, then the coral can die. But if conditions are eliminated, then the coral can regain its color and survive. Also, natural conditions such as hurricanes can damage coral reefs, and many problems are caused by humans. Humans are polluting waters. Permitting sewage to ruin the reefs, and uncaring tourists who break off pieces and touch the coral as they snorkel or dive. There is one salvation, though: coral can be saved, and that can happen. Coral, when protected, can survive. Now, what has been done to protect coral reefs? Governments haven't been too successful in accomplishing very much in the way of saving and protecting reefs, but people have been. In some places, dive operators have worked together to keep boat anchors off the reefs, and in one area, the giant clam was put back into a dying reef area. And educational and research programs are being implemented in many parts of the world, and tourists are doing their part. Snorkelers and divers respect the reefs; they don't touch them, and they don't break off pieces to take home as souvenirs. So. When you read about wonderful vacation spots around the world that promote first-class reef diving and snorkeling, you are probably reading about places off the eastern coast of Africa or the southern coast of India, or the Red Sea, Australia, Polynesia, Florida, the Caribbean, and even Brazil and South America. As you hear about these wonderful reefs, think back to this class and remember one. 
that little animals' skeletons have made these wonders of nature, two, that they are being destroyed unnecessarily, and three, that being more responsible citizens of the world can help them survive. Now get ready to answer the questions. You may use your notes to help you answer. Number 18. What did the professor discuss about hard coral? Number 19. What does the professor say is damaging reefs? Number 20. How does the professor describe the word polyp? Listen again to part of the lecture, then answer the question. There's one salvation, though. Coral can be saved. And that can happen. Coral, when protected, can survive. Number 21. What does the professor imply when she says this? And that can happen. Listen again to part of the lecture, then answer the question. So, when you read about wonderful vacation spots around the world that promote first class reef diving and snorkeling, you are probably reading about places off the eastern coast of Africa or the southern coast of India, or the Red Sea, Australia, Polynesia, Florida, the Caribbean, and even Brazil in South America. Number 22. What can be inferred about vacation spots? Number 23. How does the professor introduce the lecture?